hello friend in this video lecture i'm going to discuss about how to convert a string array into single string using csop.net so this code that i already written so we can convert our uh, string array into a string by two ways so this is the first way where i'm using a string builder class and append method now hereafter let's understand this code the first is to namespace that require so using system when i or uh, comment this part so here you can see a string and console uh, class getting some kind of uh, error message so that means here a string and console class the definition that to uh, written inside the uh, system namespace so this namespace that is in cell so on comment then uh, you can see the error that gone now here after i comment on system dot text namespace now if you take the cursor here you can get this message this is the error message now the error message come because system uh, string builder name uh, string builder class so definition that written inside system dot text namespace now if you uncomment then the error that gone so this two namespace that require now here after main and here you can see a string array type variable a double r that i have taken and this value that i initialize so here zero index c sharp one vb two java and three f sharp now here i have taken a string builder clause so here about the string builder clause that i already uh, discussed okay so here a string builder class object created st with the help of new string builder constructor so here st is the object and st dot operator that called append now here after you can see for loop i value start from 0 and i a double r length so it count the total length so total elements inside for the four length become 4 now here st that called append method so a double r zero position so zero position here c sharp is there so it or uh, doing the append of a double r zero position now if you take the cursor on append so append or uh, copy a specified a string to the instance so this is about the append method so it's uh, doing copy of a specified now when i value increase i is now one one less than four condition is two so here one person next to that append vb so one append just like combine so combining all the strings next to that combine java and f sharp and when that i value is now raised to uh, 5 sorry uh, 4 4 less than 4 condition is not true so condition is not true come to this point now here after st is the object and st going to convert into to a string method so st here you can see a string builder st object so inside the st that all come like this all c vb java f sharp now here we need we have to do a string array into a string so that we need to use to a string method so it's used to convert value into a string and store into str and here after printing the value of str now if i run this code here you can see the output these are vb java and uh, this all here you can see and uh, uh, okay you can see these are vb java it's all are displaying now if you want to here get a uh, uh, data type information so you should include console dot uh, right line and here str dot uh, here get type so by using this we can analyze the data type of the variable so here str data type it will display so here definitely it's a string here so here you can see a string data type it's a displaying system dot string now here you can see a double r a string array and uh, here this the object and here append method a double r a string array so here uh, the logic is uh, one by one a double r value that come and that go to st and st value convert into a string and printing a st value convert into a string and here uh, that is store into str str that display so this is the first way now here after i'm going to or uh, discuss about the next way so here this 
code that I already written. So here next uh, I'm using a string array variable a and this all element that uh, here I uh, uh, store. So here you can see my SQL this all right line this and here after I'm using for each loop so a double r this all values so one by one that go to s so first uh, here zero index uh, my SQL so my SQL go to s now my SQL print here after oracle go to s oracle print redis go to s redis prints c sharp go to s c sharp print now here after a double r this all printing now here after if I or uh, here if I take the cursor so s is the string variable s now here after a string str so a string dot join method that I'm using so here you can see a space joining with a double r okay so a space so it's all are dis uh, displaying here this all values uh, now here after we can use the join method so join a string dot join and a double r a double r this all values joining with uh, what a space now here after conversion here you can uh, see as this all value it's uh, displaying so str that join and the value that is store into str okay a string join and here the value is store into str so a double r is the array time here you can take the cursor a string array the one uh, this all value it's come and here after store into str and after conversion str value is now it's all displaying now here after when you want to check the data type here str dot get type so it's a displaying a string it's a displaying so this the two ways we can convert here a string array into a string single string using csr.net so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you